We now know court records show Allen's initial bond was set at $20 million. We have an online case summary showing past and upcoming court dates. We have a case number so the public can now follow details and events in the case. Judge Benjamin Dean are granted a request by 13 News to release all those details. And following our questions, the court also posted this notice, setting a date for a public hearing for the judge to determine whether important records in the case will remain under seal. All of that now appears on the state's public court website where anyone can see it instead of being hidden like it has been for the past six days since charges were first filed. What we still do not have is the detailed probable cause affidavit, which details why police believe Allen is responsible for the deaths of the two Delphi girls. That is supposed to be public, and it's still being kept under seal. That will be the focus of the public hearing coming up on November 22nd. The judge says keeping that important document under seal has created a difficult situation for the court. Today, Judge Diener copied 13 News on an email to state court administrators. He wrote, just so the world knows, the Carroll Circuit Court consists of me, Benjamin A. Diener, the judge. My court reporter was hired Friday and began Monday. My bailiff answers the phone, has no experience and no knowledge about legal process. Thankfully, there is a court administrator that has experience, but she has duties regarding Carroll Circuit and Carroll Superior Courts. That is it. So... I am begging for some assistance to shield me, the court, from this storm so that I, the court, can keep running the court. And under state law, the probable cause affidavit in the Delphi murder case is considered to be a public document. That means you and I should be able to see it. On November 22nd, the judge will hear arguments from the media and community seeking to unseal that public record.